Hey, who out there loves snakes? Yeah, me neither. I think of what happens in the barely classic 1997 movie Anaconda, starring Jennifer Lopez and Ice Cube. It's basically the birds, but you know, with enormous serpents and no phone booth. The thing is, snakes that grow as long as a school bus are no fun if you end up near the business end of their snouts, or actually any part of them. Now, I can't tell you how to catch an anaconda or its cousin, the python, but of course, J-Lo probably can, and now drones can too. Here's Adam Yamaguchi to explain. The Florida Everglades, a 1.5 million acre wetlands preserve west of Miami, is home to hundreds of animal species, including pythons. The problem is, pythons aren't supposed to be there. Alligator Ron Bergeron, a local swamp man, vocally advocates ridding this unique ecosystem of pythons using drones to spot them in the dense marshlands from high above. That's where these two come in. Pilot Kevin Sanders of Valero Drones and Python Joe Wasilewski, a conservation biologist who worked with Ron and state officials to hunt pythons. I headed to Southern Florida to meet them in the Everglades. What kind of an impact has the Burmese python had on the Everglades? Well, it's had a very serious impact. In some areas of the Everglades, we've lost 90% of the fur-bearing animals. That's possums, coons, rabbits, deer. How did it get here? In the early 90s, Hurricane Andrews come through, and it destroyed multiple snake farms, and all those snakes got out of the farms and entered into the Everglades and then started multiply. In an effort to find and remove thousands of unwanted pythons, the state of Florida authorized local hunters to help, and some have gone high tech. How does drone technology change things for you? Hopefully, we're able to go up in that drone and find the snakes and send out the, the hound dog to go catch it. <laughs> OK. We utilize infrared to find the snakes, the differentiation between the temperature of the ground and the temperature of the snakes themselves. Identifying the snakes particularly, it's more of a shape, I guess you could say, if you find the shape of the animal. Kevin launched the drone, and changing color palettes, we were able to search the ground for python heat signatures and shapes. Oh, yeah. It was a chilly morning, and we weren't having much luck until. It's a big one. That is a big one. <laughs> you go to it? Let's do it. Go, go get them. Somewhere here, right there. Wow, oh, wow. look you at have that. An that is typical. You want to grab them? All right. Uh, let, let why me, don't you grab Let it. me grab them. Yeah. Right behind it. Hold it. Grab wow. the tail. Wow. <laughs> wow. I mean, this is incredibly powerful. Oh, yeah. I couldn't see it till I was right on it. That is the issue detection. The task at hand is a daunting one. But with the help of drone technology, there's hope the Everglades can be restored to its natural wonder.